we just had opening day. So we're going to dial the clocks back 10 years. We're going to look at 2013, and we're going to take a look at some pitchers from opening day in 2013. Now, I have these names up in front of me, and I have compiled clues as to who all of these players are. Tanner's job is to guess who they are in as few hints as possible. Now, he can get a maximum of three hints per player. The goal is to go five for five, obviously. And again, the goal is to get it as fast as you can. But no shame in taking the three hints because it's still going to be pretty tricky. So we're going to see how he does. You ready, Tanner? I'm ready. Lock in. Okay, so we've got five players. Again, three clues per player. Player number one. And I'm going to speak in first person because why not? It makes it feel more immersive. I am 39 years old and retired after the 2021 season. If you if you have a guess, that's pretty vague. So if you have a guess, go for it. If not, just say, give me the next clue. Give me the next. Give me the next one. Okay. I won the World Series in 2007, 2013, and 2016. All pitchers on opening day from 2013. 13 so in 2013 wait what years was it 2007 2013 right. and 2016 i won the world series so it's a red sox pitcher he pitched for he pitched for the red sox right did he, he i'm not have, being clear they, they won in 2007 so he must have pitched for the red sox let's see let me think here let me think here wait 2013 2013. Give me can I have one more hint. Despite being diagnosed with lymphoma, I went on to start. Oh, okay. With- John Lester. Okay, there it is. There we go. He's got the first one on the board. One for one so far. We're at 100%. Let's go to number two. You good? You like it? Yeah, so I'm ready. That, was fun. that was fun. That was, that was fun. Okay. Number two. I played with only one team for 14 years. One team. Any one do you retire? excuse me this isn't a question uh, one, okay answer. i i got it i got it. i got it um again remember they all pitched on opening day in 2013 oh, these are pitchers these are all pitchers all pitchers on opening day in 2013 okay i gotcha one team for when did he okay give me a new hint scouts in venezuela were amazed that i could throw the ball at 90 miles an hour when i was 14 years old venezuela opening day in 2021 they're on opening day 2023 what what year were they on the mound i'm trying to run all these through my head Tanner, everybody on this list pitched on opening day in 2013 okay good all right keep going okay so you've, you've got two clues so far played with yep. just one team for 14 years and scouts in venezuela were amazed i could pitch at 90 when i was 14 years old here's your last clue I am one of 21 players in league history to have pitched a perfect game. Okay. Started on 2013. He threw a perfect game and he's from Venezuela. Only played with one team. Only played with one team his whole life. Felix Hernandez. That is exactly who it is, Tanner. Two for two. There, I saw the clock. I saw the gears turning. I saw it coming to you. I'm impressed. This is a good start. There we go. Okay. You like you enjoying it so far? I like it. It's a fun game. You're doing a good job. All right, cool. Player number three. I, I almost read their name on accident. Um, here we go. Clue number one. I led the league in strikeouts in 2014, which is the year after the one we're discussing. We're discussing opening day 2013. So I led the league in strikeouts in 2014. I already got this. I you think. do? I'm going to take a guess. Okay. Clayton Kershaw. No, not quite. Clue number two. I pitched a perfect game through five innings in my MLB debut in 2008 before Justin Upton hit a home run in the sixth. That was the only base hit I allowed before I was pulled after seven innings. For Justin Upton... Wait, wait, what did he do? He, what was the first I'll, clip? I'll CC, CC Sabathia. No, I'm gonna emph- I'm gonna emphasize the important points. So right. led the league in strikeouts in 2014. Yeah, had a perfect game through five innings in my debut in 2008 before it was ruined in the sixth inning. Okay. You can ask for the third clue if you'd like. Give me the third clue. I am fourth 
in the Marlins starting rotations of rotation of pitchers this year? Four. Okay. Number four in the Marlins rotation this year. Who's in the Marlins rotation? Fourth in the Marlins rotation. Fourth in the Marlins rotation. I'm thinking. And he, he pitched on opening day in 2013. That's what you're telling me. Correct. All right. Let me go through my head. Who's fourth? I'm thinking. Who's fourth? Who's fourth in their rotation? This one's a tough one. Uh, They're fourth in the rotation according to ESPN this morning. I don't even know who's their number four. Give me one more hint. That's easy, though. Um. Well, I, so I don't. He's have from any... Venezuela. No, that, that was that was Felix Hernandez. Okay. Which you already got. Um. I don't have a fourth clue prepared, but you know what? I'm gonna look up one, and I'm gonna give you a bonus clue here. Yeah, give me um, a bonus clue. All right. Let me just let me just pick out some cool stats. What do we got from this guy? Okay. Um... All right. Here's all right. Here's a good one. So I mentioned he led the league in strikeouts in 2014. Yeah. He won the World Series in 2015 and was then an all-star in 2016. So he had a nice three-year stretch. Johnny Cueto. That is exactly who it is, Tanner. I don't know if that's a full-on three for three, but I'm impressed. It's like a partial. It's like a two for three. When I edit it into a clip, it'll be three for three. Really <laughs> clip together perfectly. Power of editing. The, the live Only the live viewers know. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Three for three. We're gonna we'll go with three for three because I'm impressed. This is tough. That that was definitely the hardest. I didn't one even. I wasn't even thinking of that the Marlins number four. Like took me a while to think of it. I'm like, who's that? But okay, number it. four. Player number four out of five. All right. I am 40 years old, but I've been retired for six years. My <laughs> last year was the only one I played with the Padres. My last year, and he's been retired for six years, so it's 2023. So twenty, the only one he played with the Padres for... 2017 was when he was with the Padres. 2017. He was opening day starter. Did Cole Hamels? Is Cole Hamels? That's not who it is, no. I don't remember when he retired. You uh, want the next clue? Yeah, give me the next clue. Okay, so again, this is 2013 opening day. Okay. I finished behind David Price and Justin Verlander in the 2012 American League Cy Young voting. In the 2012 American League Cy Young voting. In the American League 2012, he finished in front or behind? He finished third behind David Price and Justin Verlander. In the American League, so it can't be Kershaw. Dickey? No. We're gonna go to we're gonna go to number three here. Okay. And this is this is actually this is a good test of if you're a historian or not, because it's not necessarily about what happened on the field. In 2005, me and my agent held out against the Angels for the record longest time in rookie negotiation history. And he's been retired for so I'll, I'll recap all of the clues. He's 40 years old, retired in 2017, played for the Padres when he retired. Played for the Padres. He, pl- he finished third in 2012 American League Cy Young voting. And in 2005, he was drafted by the Angels, but had a record for the longest negotiation lockout for a rookie. The Angels. So it wouldn't be CC, right? American League Cy Young voting. I'll give you one more bonus hint. I said he only played one year with the Padres. Yeah. All of the other years he played, he was with the Angels. Okay, so he's an Angel. Angel. 2005 angel okay angel what was it give me recap one more time angel he's 40 years old retired as a member of the padres in 2017 in 2012 he was third in the american league cy young voting and in 2005 he was drafted by the angels which is where he played his whole career but one year jared weaver 
That is exactly who it is. Tanner. Four out of four. <laughs> Got it. I had to think of like a really good angel. This, this is fun for me to watch because I can see you getting frustrated when you can't figure it out and you're digging deep into the memory banks. Let's go. This is good. This is impressive this stuff. Is, yeah, because I'm going to spoil the upcoming shows. These quizzes, they're going to become a regular thing. And now okay. Tanner's putting pressure on me to get 100%. So uh, pressure is full on me moving forward. But the pressure's on Tanner for the last question. Player number five. Four for four so far. Can he get a perfect sweep? I produced one of the MLB's 112 immaculate innings as a member of the Phillies in 2014. Cole Hamels. That's who it is, Tanner. I knew that was easy because I had Cole Hamels in my head. And I'm like, okay, Philly. And I start, I'm like, Cole Hamels in that time. So. Yeah, you guessed Cole Hamels for, as your first guess for Jared Weaver. And I, just, I said, oh, my gosh, he's going to get the next one easy. Yeah, that was easy. The Cole I'll, Hamels, give you the, uh, I'll give you the last two because why not? I won MLCS and World Series MVP in 2008. Mm -hmm. And I go by a nickname that is synonymous with movie making and glitz and glamour, which is obviously Hollywood. That's Cole Hamels. Number five, Tanner goes five for five on Tanner's opening day quiz. Round of applause for Tanner. So I'm up next. I'm up. I get to quiz you next week. Yes, you do. And we we can consult about what you want to make it. Um, because we haven't really talked about fully what it is. We have some ideas, but we're gonna say that for the next show. You're gonna have to tune in. 